Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, big square that consists of uh, four uh, triangles, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, blue triangle is uh, 51 centimeter square. The area of this uh, pink uh, triangle is uh, 34 uh, centimeter square. And likewise, the area for this uh, green uh, triangle is 68 uh, centimeter square. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, yellow triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now let's make an observation. We want to keep things uh, really simple. We can see that 51, 68 and 34 has one thing in common. And here we can see 51 could be written as 3 times 17, 68 could be written as 4 times 17, and likewise 34 could be written as 2 times 17. So that means all these areas are a multiple of 17. And now we are going to make things simple. I'm going to write this 51 as 3, 68 as 4, and 34 as 2. And I'm going to leave this 17 over here. And once we are finished, we can multiply once again with the 17 at the end. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and label these side lengths of the square. I'm going to call this side length as a lowercase a, then this side length uh, is going to be lowercase a as well. And let me label uh, this side length uh, as lowercase b and this uh, side uh, length uh, as uh, lowercase uh, c. And now we know that this uh, whole uh, side length uh, is uh, a and uh, this uh, side length uh, is b. So therefore uh, this side length uh, of this blue triangle is going to be a minus B and likewise uh, this whole uh, side length is lowercase a this side length is C so therefore uh, this side length is going to be A minus C and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, blue triangle and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times a base uh, times height and in our case for this uh, blue triangle, uh, our area is uh, 3, our base is A minus C, and our height is uh, A minus B. So we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So our area is uh, 3 is going to be equal to a half uh, times uh, A minus uh, B times uh, A minus uh, C. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides uh, by A2. And here 1 over 2 and 2 cancels out. Uh, so the left hand side 2 times 3 is 6. So this whole thing could be written as A minus B times A minus C equals to 6. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, now our green uh, triangles whose area is 4 and the side lengths are A and C. So we are going to fill in the blanks once again in this formula. So it's going to become 4 equals to a half times A times C. Let's multiply both sides by 2 and this 1 over 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore we got A times C equals to 8. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides uh, by A to isolate uh, C. So therefore C is going to be 8 uh, divided by A. Let me call this our equation number uh, 2. And now let's focus on this uh, pink uh, triangle whose uh, area is 2 and the side lengths are A and uh, B. Therefore once again we're going to use this uh, formula. So we got uh, 2 equals to 1 divided by 2 times A times B. So let's multiply both sides by 2. This 1 over 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore A times B turns out to be 4. Let's divide both sides by A to isolate P. So B turns out to be 4 divided by A. 
let me call this our equation number three and here's our next step uh, let's go ahead and substitute this uh, c equals to eight divided by a and b equals to four divided by a in this uh, equation one and here I have copied down this uh, equation one and I'm going to now replace uh, this uh, b by four divided by a over here likewise uh, c over here I'm going to replace it uh, by eight divided by a as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this b by four divided by a and likewise uh, c by eight uh, divided by a and now let's focus on this uh, very first factor and here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and tweak this one. I can write this a as a, a divided by a as well. Now in this next step a times a is going to become a squared divided by a and now we have a, a as a common denominator. So this is going to become a squared minus 4 divided by a and likewise let's go ahead and focus on this uh, second factor and here I have copied it down. And here a could be written as a square divided by a and likewise we got uh, a square minus a divided by a. So therefore I'm going to replace uh, this first factor by this one and this uh, second factor by this one. So therefore I'm going to write down uh, a square minus 4 divided by a and then times uh, a square minus 8 uh, divided by a equal to 6 on the right hand side and in this uh, next step uh, a times a is going to give us uh, a square at the denominator. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by a square to remove this uh, fraction and here a square and a square is gone so we ended up with uh, a square minus uh, 4 times uh, a square minus uh, 8 equal to 6 uh, a square and now let's go ahead and do the double uh, distribution likewise uh, over here as you can see in this uh, next step a square times a square is going to give us a power 4 this is negative 8 a square and then negative 4 a square plus uh, 32 on the left hand side and here in this uh, next step I have combined these uh, two like terms so we got negative 12 a square now let's move this uh, 6a square on the left hand side. As you can see in this uh, next step let's go ahead and combine these uh, two like terms. So therefore we are ended up with uh, this equation a power 4 minus uh, 18a square plus 32 equal to 0. And now let's go ahead and tweak this uh, middle term. This negative 18a square could be written as uh, negative 16a square minus uh, 2a square. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this one uh, by these uh, two terms and here we can see we have uh, a square is in common and here between these last two terms uh, negative 2 is in common. So let's go ahead and factor out uh, a square so we got uh, a square minus 16 and here I'm going to factor out uh, negative 2 so we got a square minus 16 equal to 0 and here we can see these uh, two are in common so therefore I can write uh, a square minus uh, 16 times uh, a square minus 2 equal to 0 let's go ahead and separate them I'm gonna split them a square minus 16 equal to 0 and the other one is going to be a square minus uh, 2 equal to 0 for this equation a square equals to 16 and here for this equation we got uh, a square equals to positive 2 and here's our next step let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s is the side length of the square and in our case our side length uh, is uh, a so the area is going to become simply a square and here we got a square and a square so that means uh, these represent the area of this very same as square and in this scenario when a square equals to 2 the area of a square cannot be equal to 2 since we have uh, the other areas are bigger than uh, this one so therefore we are going to reject uh, this scenario and we are going to accept uh, the area of the square equal to 16. So thus the area of this square turns out to be 16 centimeters square. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and make an observation. We can see that the area of this whole square 
equal to the sum of uh, all these uh, individual uh, triangles that means uh, the blue triangle area green triangle area pink triangle area and finally the yellow triangle area let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so the square area is 16 is going to be equal to blue area is uh, 3 plus uh, green area is uh, 4 plus uh, pink area is 2 and then I'm going to just uh, leave yellow area as uh, Y. And in this next step, I have combined these uh, constant on the right hand side. So we got 16 equal to 9 plus Y. So let's go ahead and subtract 9 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, our Y value turns out to be 7. And here we know that Y represents the area of this uh, yellow triangle. And here's our final step. We know our multiple is uh, 17. So therefore, I am going to multiply this 7 uh, by 17. So therefore, y is going to be equal to 7 times 17 is 119 centimeter square. So thus the area of this uh, yellow triangle turns out to be 119 centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.